Christmas may be a time of joy and family, but for some people it can also mean more stress and anxiety. Psychologists say it's even more important over the festive season to check in on our mental well-being. Well, joining me live is Senior Lecturer in Counselling at the Australian College of Applied Professions, Dr Timothy C. Thank you so much for joining us, Doctor. How are you this morning? I'm great. Thank you, Jeannie. What is so, the um, great as one of the big... Oh, great to have you here. And um, as one of the most popular carols, it's the most wonderful time of the year. You know, we can all sing that, but um, is it for everybody? <laughs> well, the, the interesting thing about uh, holiday seasons like this, some, of course, most of us really um, look forward to enjoying time together with family, to celebrate. But, you know, studies from around the world do tell us that sometimes up to a third of people worldwide report increased stress levels during holiday seasons. So, so it does go to show that, you know, we have up to a third of us Australians here will probably feel some level of increased anxiety or depression or even stress or even breakups in relationships at this point of time. Well, what can we do to manage this? Because, you know, a lot of people that do celebrate Christmas Day, it's just one day and there's so much emphasis on it. There's so much stress and pressure. How can we minimise that? Well, I think one of the key things in terms of moving towards a Christmas season, of course, we do know during the Christmas season, lots of people have to buy gifts, they do for family interactions, family gatherings. Well, I think one of the important things that we really have to prepare before that, especially when it comes to giving, is the financial aspect. Because, you know, looking at it, during this period of time, people spend more money and they buy gifts and sometimes they go overboard. So important thing, I guess, in terms of financial is really plan a budget prior to Christmas season and to stick to the budget. And of course, when it comes to having interactions with family members or sometimes maybe there may be some individuals they prefer to avoid, maybe in those situations, try to avoid them during the, the conversation with the family time. And what about uh, practising positivity? I know that you're very big on that. How do we do that this time of year? Yeah. Well, when it comes to positivity, of course, there are many ways around it. One of the things I would say that when it comes to, to seasons like this, but we all, most of the time, we know that we all spend time on the, on the uh, social media, we watch news, and we do know sometimes social media and news do get, uh, the news can be kind of horrid sometimes. So I would think that as part of the, the way to manage this whole negativity, important thing is firstly, have a, maybe during this period of time, have a social media blackout, that's one. Second thing is perhaps treat ourselves to uh, alone time. You know, being alone doesn't mean it's being lonely, but it's just giving ourselves the time to take a step back, just to re-engage, you know, go for a massage, walk, have a walk on a beach, or alternatively, if necessary, spend quality time with your loved ones, with your partner, with the children. But I think more importantly also is that we should then celebrate your achievements in 2022. We, we, we've come out from COVID in 2022, but if, if I'm sure many of us have achieved certain things as well. So the way to really experience a sense of positivity is just to celebrate that achievement and to look forward towards all the other things that's positive that's going to happen in 2023. All right. And it all comes down to, you know, communication and self-awareness, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. That's absolutely right, JD. All right. Well, thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful festive season and thank you for joining us and bringing in your expertise, Dr Timothy C. We'll uh, catch, catch up with you soon. Thank you, Jeannie.